I'm using their Embryo Release Moisturiser to start off with and I'm just rubbing that into my skin and I got a bit in my hair and then I'm using this Sleek Illuminating Primer, I think it's in the shade Pompeii. Then for foundation I'm mixing the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and I think the other one is the EX1 foundation and it is too dark for me just because I'm matching it to my neck not my face because I'm wearing fake tan and I just apply this with a foundation brush and then I kind of go in with a sponge and kind of just pat it into my skin So I'm using the Maybelline Anti-Age Rewind Concealer just to conceal anything I need to conceal and also brighten up the high points of my face and I then just blend that in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge, I think it's called like the Miracle Touch Sponge, something like that. But I'm then going in with my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just setting my eyes so when I come to do my eyeshadow it's just going to make it a lot easier to blend them. It's also going to mean I get no creases in my eyeshadow and I'm also baking with the same powder just because I'm using eyeshadows on my eyes and I don't want the eyeshadow to kind of drop down onto my face makeup and ruin it. And also the powder is just going to help kind of highlight those points of my face and make my foundation last longer. But I'm then using the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just taking like a warm brown shade and blending that into my crease. And I then take a shade which is a little bit darker and more of like a sandy brown. And again, I blend that into my outer corner and then I kind of put a little bit through my crease as well. I'm then using my Makeup Revolution Foiled Eyeshadow in Rose Gold and I'm putting this on the like inner parts of my eyelids and also into my inner corner and I just pat this out to kind of blend it out. But I'm then just wiping away the loose powder on my face and I also put a bit on my chin so I'm just blending away that. So I'm using the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner on a angled brush to do my wing but I then go in with the NYX Liquid Liner to do the kind of line over my eyes and like the inner corner bit just because the brush is thinner so I find it easier and it's also going to glide over the foiled eyeshadow better than a gel would. I'm then just using the same brown shade underneath my lower lash line then applying a black eyeliner on my waterline and then I just smudge that out with a little brush. For the double wing I just take a black eyeshadow on an angled brush and I just extend the lower lash line up but I don't take this wing as far as the top wing. Then for bronzer I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer and I just apply this to my cheeks, my chin, I also apply some to my forehead but I've recently found it goes really like patchy and kind of muddy on my forehead so let me know if anyone knows kind of how to fix that. I then take two shades from the Anastasia contour kit and I put this underneath my cheekbones just to enhance that contour. And then for blush I'm using a really kind of peachy orangey shade so it kind of looks like more of a bronzer and this one's from Makeup Geek and I just put that onto my cheeks obviously. I also bake underneath my cheekbones with the loose powder again. For highlight I'm using a Kiko Water Eyeshadow I think it is and it's in the shade 208 and I just apply that to the tops of my cheekbones and also the tip of my nose. just wiping away that loose powder. I apply mascara and I also apply the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. For lipstick I'm using MAC Velvet Teddy and I then go in with a NYX, um, I think it's the Soft Matte Lip Creams and I'm pretty sure this is in the shade Cairo. 